Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Time to take on the final two numbered levels of the game. We will still be fending off the A and B bonus levels once we're done here, and then obviously the K level and the final boss of this world. But these are the last two numerical levels in this game, viewers. Oh my gosh. How do I get that open? I need to go down there, but I don't know how to do it. Maybe I gotta come back. Alright. Let's cop in this blast barrel and see. I don't honestly remember how to do any of this, so. Ooh. Are you gonna send me back? It's kind of a weird approach. This is kind of like a weird, uh, like a science lab. Kind of feels like that. So don't hit that uh, gold panel just yet. Be patient. Yeah, this is this is some sort of weird mystical lab. I'm not entirely sure what they were 100% going for with this one, but it is what it is. Has a lot of technology. Technology. Don't we love technology viewers? The future. That's kind of the gimmick of this one as these platforms pass over the little electrical... I don't even know what those are. Lanterns? Bulbs? Like, have you ever been to like a Spencer's gift at a mall and then seen those little electrical things that... Oh boy. Okay. Those little electrical things when you touch them with your hands. The electricity, the current kind of goes to the surface. Makes me think of it when I was a kid and... There was a science center in my town. You'd go there and they had one of those big ones. And you could touch it and it would make your hair go all staticky and stick up in the air and everybody thought it was crazy cool. Those were the good old days. I do love me some science. Oh boy. Ooh, we are not <laughs> We're not doing it doing right by Dixie right now. Sorry. He's just kind of getting a raw deal right now. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes. Sorry. Sorry. Looks like this might be another bonus here. That heart would have been nice. About 30 seconds before this. I say another bonus like I've already done one. I've not. So the first one of the level. I know of. All right. So far, so good. Can't say I necessarily care for these, but... I would say, relatively speaking, these aren't the... Okay. <laughs> Perfect! Let's go ahead and do a tactical reset. Whoops! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that! I told myself that these levels weren't going to be too bad. And, relatively speaking, I don't think that they are. Some of these other levels in the final world, especially the Rocket Barrel one, and then the K level of the previous world, man, those were brutal, but they're kind of meant to have a little bit more of an edge to them. Ooh, ooh, we're fine. Things are getting a little slippery, but the background of this kind of weird mad science factory is pretty amazing. All right, let's try this again. Having Dixie around will definitely improve our odds as it does. And you know what? Her enthusiasm is inspiring. She just, oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> See? what I tell you, viewers? It's uh, stupid proof. That's why they bring you the companions. For people like me, all right. So we're almost done here. Let's see if we can finish it in the time left. I believe we can. That's a puzzle piece get. These final two levels only have five apiece, so... Pretty convenient. Not terribly long either, which is nice. Oh! <laughs> okay. I'm not sure entirely the science behind electrocuting a vine. I feel like that would... Oh no. I feel like something like that would set it on fire, wouldn't it? I don't know. You know, scientist. I'm just a common sensitist, you know? That's a thing, right? Alright. 
collect ourselves with the save point pig. Ooh, these look like little kind of grumpy faces, these stones at the end of these platforms. I don't want to be a stone to platform. Alright, so I believe we need... Okay, great. I think grabbing all of these bananas is a good idea. It is. So you gotta jump over these little ones on the bottom. I didn't even notice those, to be completely honest. As I always am with my viewers. Alright, I don't know if I need to go do that or not. But it doesn't matter because I'm dead. Alright. Sound like I said I'm dead. Hey, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I do have a cat. So I guess I could say I'm a cat dad. But is that really something you want to be saying? Maybe it is. Maybe, unlike me, you have uh, no shame. But I shouldn't. My cat's amazing. She's incredible. As the French say, incroyable. Right. Just the banana coin, and I like that it shows it to me after I die. A little insult to injury. Yes. We are well on our way. Having a Kong Canyon here would be nice. But I think I can manage now that I know that. The, oh, you know what? You know what? That the thing. <sighs> All right. At least I know that there's nothing here that I need. But I do see a bonus barrel. Doing this alone is probably going to be a horrible decision. Depends upon what kind. Of, okay. This is just kind of the basic, the basic trampoline bounce one. I don't think this one is too bad as long as I. Stay patient. Don't peel away my attention. I think we got it. We got him. All right, there it is. Boom! These puzzle pieces have been pretty manageable. Is that three or four? That's four. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know what this does. Okay, so it stops the current. Currently. Okay. I'm not quite entirely sure what the real point of that was, but you know what? I'm not the one designing games over here, so. Alright, so that piece of, uh. Gra you know, I wanna grab this first. I'm gonna grab this first. That piece of grass over there looks a little tricky. And that is a sneaky, sneaky final puzzle piece. We gotta wait for these to open up. Roll, jump your way. Oh boy. It's a big boy. Maybe we can roll jump over him. We certainly can, but we don't have a Dixie. So we will not be... <laughs> okay, do I have any Dixies left? I do. Nope. Nope. Yes. So we will grab Dixie and with her help... I don't know if this is going to be... Oh, you know, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of your business. I don't know if this is going to be enough to get this. It is not. So hopefully I can do a... Far enough back enemy spawn reset. Did that work? It did! Wonderful. So you need to use the Waldo and the Owl both. To grab the end there. A little tricky. Manageable though. Oh, you, you know. <laughs> oh, the, oh, it electrocute. I didn't even see that. I'm a ding dong. Now that is a tough jump. As you can see up to the left. We actually do need Cranky. Why? Yeah. Okay. Like it just says no. And there's some spikes up there that are only accessible via Cranky Pogo, which, as you all know, I'm incredibly good at. Why are we going this way, viewers? Well, you're about to see a surprise. It's a secret exit. We don't have the G yet, so we'll have to come back and obviously get that on another quick run through. Con, what a con. You're like, yeah, I didn't get to see all this full level, but we did get all the puzzle pieces. On screen, first try. For all of you. All of you. Alright. So I believe that accesses one of the A's or 
whatever levels, I don't know. But we're gonna go through, we've already gotten everything except for the j -j -j, so we don't need to worry about that. But I do believe that is the final hidden secret exit in the game. I told you I'd show you everything. I can show you the world. The Donkey Kong world. Now we just have to do this not short level all over again with Cranky. My favorite of the Kongpanions, of course. Let's go, game. I'm trying to speed run this bad boy. It's not going to complete itself. Here we go. Although, that's kind of an ironic thing to say because speedrunning rarely involves completing games unless it's like a 100% category, but most of the time. Okay. Let's just kind of nukes. Uh, Nukes cranky into outer and outer space. Um, unless there's a hundred percent category, most of the time it's like a. Uh, I believe the communities call it any percent, where you just try to finish it as fast as you can. Sometimes with glitches, sometimes without. Just depends on what you're into. It's the kind of stuff that uh, Odin Spack does as part of the stacked, 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 stacking, stacked game marathon. Apologies for not knowing what the name is Odin, or if you're even watching this, but um, they do that kind of stuff. Not exclusively that kind of stuff, but it's one of the things that they do as a, as a crew as they raise money for various charities. Very admirable and amazing thing to do, so there's one of those coming up, I believe, in October, maybe? Seems to be kind of the time of year that that's when they typically are. So go check that out whenever it happens. It'll be on uh, his... Twitch channel, which I think is like OdinSpack33 at twitch.tv, maybe? That sounds right, but I could be wrong. So yeah, go do that. A little plug for Odin. He's my boy. Buddy of over a decade. Excellent lad. Doing excellent work. Can we skip that? Oh yeah, that was a pro move. This is not a pro move. Okay. So we'll pull this. Hopefully get to the... Okay. Oof. It's really tempting to just kind of brute for- Okay. To, as I say that, as I do it, oh my gosh. It's really tempting to just brute force this, but you really can't in certain instances. I don't think- yeah. I don't think you can get over that by yourself. Maybe you can, or you just have to take the tactical damage. But, fortunately we got the checkpoint pig. That was not- I thought in my head, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna roll jump on this one, and then I just still do it. Oh boy. Can you duck under it? Oh, okay. Well, you know what? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Letting you do things that are very, you know, basic in the game and kind of common sense. Here's the G. We were very close to finishing the level, it appears. All we need to do is let this crumble away. Okay, not that much. Okay. Use the, oh. Oh, you, that's when you hit him. Oh. I still do love his uh, puffer fish. Uh, spear? Whatever you want to call that. Baton thing. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Game, come on. I got people to be in places to see. This is what I get for, once again, saying too much. Oop. Right on your belly? I'm gonna get your belly. I don't know how those pufferfish are alive, though. Is there water on the end of that stick? How, how are they uh, surviving? Ugh. Yeah, there's little hitboxes in this level that I don't vibe with very well. They're a little tricky. All right, let's grab the, the pity heart. Dodge the crumbly platforms. Fall onto that one, and then you keep going. Whoa, this one's leaving on its own. And just time it right, and there it is. Secret exit. Regular exit. Five puzzle pieces. All the Kong letters. And we have one final pretty spicy level that we're going to do. This one's actually pretty intense, so. Prepare yourselves, viewers. Does this take me? No. Nope. How do I get to... 
Okay, Meltdown Mayhem. Here we are. Final level. That has a number next to it. Unfortunately, there's no level 6 9. That would have been nice. But what can you do? Apparently, Retro was on to me and took that level out of my copy. Just kidding. As you can see, there's a sneaky little banana over here. You might be wondering, huh? What could that be about, D-Mike? Well, you're gonna find it. You're about to find the heck out. We'll blast open that door. Unleash the lava plumes. And head into a bonus level. I don't know if there's more than one in this one, but... Thankfully, this one is just the ice physics kind of basic one. Not too bad. We'll just collect all these nanners. And almost be done with it. Boom, that feels pretty, pretty good. Okay, that's one puzzle piece out of five. This level is a little intense, a little spicy. Pretty heated. But we are going to have a very cool... Okay. Cool experience here in a moment. I'll show you what I mean. I can just grab that. I don't know if that's... At this point, I don't trust this game to not trick me. Did you get the intro theme again? And Rambi! That was actually what I was referring to. The cool thing was just Rambi. I love Rambi. Who doesn't love Rambi? It's the final experience in the game I think you get with him, so... We kind of have this cool... mechanic of... the snowballs... paving the way on the... Oh boy. On the lava? Hot lava? Okay. Rambi block there. Grab the K. That's okay. I feel like I'm, the game really intends for you to move a lot quicker than this. <laughs> Speaking of, hmm. But we did grab the checkpoint pig. Sadly, though, no Dixie, so we'll be doing this just as DK for a moment. Oof. What time on? Oh, no. No. All right, let's, uh,. Okay, or that. That's fine. You know, that's that's a you know, that's a way to do things. It certainly is. Okay. I like how it kind of shakes. Rambi's like, get me in there. I need to help out. I'm a rhinoceros and I want to run on stuff. Or just drop into the spaghettios. Okay. Okay. Hopefully this level does not become unreasonable. That's what the A and B level episodes are for. And certainly the K-level episodes. Now, this one is weird because it wants you to go quickly, but then it also wants you to be patient. So, are we gonna make it? Oof. Can we make it? Oh yeah. These jumps do not seem like I am getting enough clearance for them. It's probably the game like, you know what? He's he's struggling. Let's let's make this a little bit easier on him. All right jump through these. Oh, I feel like I need to get all these. Come back. Oh no, I missed one. No. <laughs> yeah, I think attacking that one from the right side is probably the easiest. And you know what? Because I've got the barrel. No, stop. The barrels to spend. Let's bring Dixie with us. We can restock before the bonus levels. And having her around obviously gives you that little little boosty boost. I don't know if Dixie is the best character to have with Rambi. It might be Dixie. Or not Dixie. It might be Diddy. Just because he can kind of hover a little bit and that's obviously going to be super useful all the time. What time is it? All the time. Every time is all the time. Alright, so jump to the little cavern here. Come back across. Get all of these. Get, oh, okay. <laughs> Just gets swallowed up. By the lava. Uh, Alright, can we just... You know what? Nah, I... 
I don't know if I'm ever going to hit that button correctly in any meaningful way. Let's just get all of our Dixies out. While you're in public, definitely get your Dixie out. Okay. No, I have not waited. <laughs> this is not as hard as it looks, I promise. I am just impatient and I'm commentating. The worst recipe for gameplay on the planet. It's a... It's a way to get heated and a way to fail, I'll tell you that. But I do love the background with kind of like the embers flying up around, the big pools of hot lava. Yeah, so on that upcoming little bit... Nope! I can't even show it off. Well, I was trying to say. On the upcoming little bit... Little bit? You can, uh... Alright, we only got two Dixies left. Oh no! One Dixie left. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you know what? Thank you. Stop patronizing the game. I don't know if there's an opportunity to, um... To get a companion organically in the level without you bringing it. You gotta bring your own lunch. My Rambi skills are as noted here. Pretty rusty. I've been on ice for a little bit. Oof. I'm not sure what's like the best time to run and what's the best time to kind of cool your jets here. But this one, you jump from the right. There you go. That's it. And now we run. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, I thought I missed that. You can grab those bananas if you want them. Okay, a little bit of a weird subsection, but we'll take it. We get the... Pity puzzle piece. Once again, some more crumbling platforms, so you gotta be careful. Actually, I think this is something. Okay. <laughs> I do believe there is a puzzle piece underneath there, in that mysterious looking hidden cove. Rambi's like, do you mind let me in there? I'm gonna help you out. You don't need no Dixie, I got it. What a bro. Yes, there it is. It's four out of five. We're in pretty good shape. Yeah, you gotta make sure you, do I need all these? I feel like I need all these. Is there anything? Oh, it, it was something, I heard it. <laughs> oh, it, it makes the puzzle piece, I just have to go get it. No free handouts, D-Mike, you gotta get it yourself. Who do you think you are in this capitalist society? You have to earn it. You don't just get free puzzle pieces just because you think you're someone special. You weren't born into puzzle pieces, that's your problem. You didn't inherit your puzzle pieces. All right, so here, use the platforms in the intended order instead of going backwards collect yourself that puzzle piece and then wait for the crack -a -laka. boom there you go things are gonna get a little hairy here in a moment I believe yeah it gives you just enough space to make those runs that's pretty funny all right so we're on the lookout for oh <laughs> for patience we're on the lookout for patience thankfully though we just got the checkpoint pig and another Rambi. The infinite continued respawns of Rambi. We need to be patient here. There it is. That's our problem. We weren't being patient. But we're not a doctor, so we don't have any patience. Whoa, I was not expecting that. And we're... <laughs> this level is something else. Hopefully you're enjoying it. It's been a blast to make this sort of a uh, recording. I tell you what. Nope, nope, nope. We wait. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's do this the right way. Are you kidding me? I even hit the run button. I had the runs. Ugh. All right. Gives me the the final end of the level, hitting the bing bong barrel sound. Can't wait to do that. We will run now. 
I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time, but it did not give it to me. There it is. Whoa! Alright, now we're on a bit of a wild raft ride. Yeah, that's kind of tricky. Like, that's not what your brain would think to do in that moment, but... Alright, so wait for the crumblies. Grab the end, or not. I mean, we did grab the end, we didn't jump. Oh, if I could only do these levels in one shot. How much more time I would have. Alright, so we wait. We run. Always be running, ABR. A new one. For you all. Make sure you get the super bounce on those ones. I like the growling in the background. That's scaly. Alright. Turn this into our new platform. We wait. ABR. And we can just skip it this time. Now you do need to wait for this one or you'll blast right into the side of it and you'll die. And then this final bit is just all about kind of chaos and running. Just always hitting that run button. Make sure you grab that G. Keep it going here. Keep it rolling. And oh, no. Oh, you really, you just can't, you can't not hit that. You gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta hit and quit it. Now, do I have all the puzzle pieces? I do. I was afraid I did not. So that final section, I was actually looking for any potential areas that could be puzzle piece worthy. And that's why I got kind of annoyed this. And I did not hit the always be running button. <laughs> this is the best you can get, viewers. I'm telling you what. All right. Let's take this part a little slower. The rest of this level is pretty much pure chaos, but that one subsection can be done with a little more finesse. Okay, and we'll wait, wait for this to rise up next to you. All right, here we go. Let's do it. It's not the words of that song, but can you appreciate improv? All right, that should be good enough. And I think this is just like I said, you just gotta keep mashing that run button. I don't even think you really need to do that, to be honest. Randy will pave the way for you. Come on. Oof. Yeah, that's meant to be tight. <laughs> and five banana bunches for good measure. Okay. All Kong letters, the secret exit from the previous level, all the puzzle pieces, the bridge pieces you could ask for. Okay. And in the next episode, we'll be taking on 6A Dynamite Dash. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I'll see you next time. Bye.